So this is the tripod that I've been using for about a year now. It was very cheap, but it's a bit flimsy. And so I've finally replaced it with the Amazon Basics 60 inch tripod. This thing is a bit of a weapon when it comes to value for money. And it's got like 200,000 reviews on Amazon. It came with this quick release camera plate that lets you clip it in and out very quickly. But the problem is I do most of my filming on my iPhone. And so I thought instead of buying a MagSafe tripod adapter, I would design and make my own. I bought this MagSafe magnet on AliExpress. I wasn't sure how strong it would be, but I tested it out and it's pretty good. The key part of this camera plate is the pyramid base. I need to measure it and draw it up in CAD. Once I have this shape perfected, I can attach anything to the tripod. Now it's time to print our test piece and see if it fits into the tripod. After looking at the two pieces side by side, I was confident this was going to work just fine. So now that I know this test piece fits the tripod perfectly, all I have to do is model up a version of it with a MagSafe connector about here and get it printed out. They make camera parts from metal to make sure they're rigid. So to make up for the fact this is 3D printed, I'm adding some extra thickness to my mount. The magnet does come with sticky tape pre-applied, but I'm going to use some super glue because I want this to last a long time. And a few sprays of activator sets the glue immediately. So I love how this tripod mount turned out. I'm actually filming on it right now and it's so much smoother than my old tripod and phone mount. But just when I thought I was finished, I started having an intrusive thought about that MagSafe charger I showed you earlier. And wouldn't it be so much better if I could have this mount to the tripod? And that way, when I need to, my iPhone could also get a bit of a charge if it's running low. Projects like this are why 3D printing is so cool. You know, I don't know how many people out there have this MagSafe charger and this tripod and also need to film like this. But I can make custom tools for my needs and utilize things that I've had around not using that much and turn them into something useful. Another random thing I've been getting obsessed with recently are these arcade switches and how I can implement them in future projects. Like this one could be a light switch uh, or a mouse. I'm not sure yet, but if you're interested in seeing what I get up to with these, look out for my next video.